What's up guys? We got the Eaglet 85, the 85 millimeter brushless micro and I got a 3S battery on it and so let's check it out. I got it already bounded and let's see if it makes any difference. This is my first ever flight with a brushless micro with a 3S. So uh, it's got a little bit more zoom. A zoom, a zoom, zoom. Oh yeah, power on demand. Nice. Yeah, feels like supercharged. Oh man. Okay, got my orientation now. Nice. It is a screaming. Yep, it wants to go places in a hurry for sure. Oh man! I wonder if it's gonna have some kind of a droppage. I'm pretty sure it's my uh, receiver. It is right next to the VTX antenna. And that is probably the reason why I got that uh, dropout at about 70 meters on my first flight. But man, that 3S is making a huge difference on the power. Wow. That is ridiculous power, guys. Wow. A little punch out. Oh, that's pretty good. That was a full punch out. One more time. And that is more than good enough, I think. But man, that 3S is making a huge difference on the power. Wow. That is ridiculous power, guys. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in, slap on another 3S, and do some FPV. All right. Okay, guys, here is my very first flight ever with a 3S on a brushless micro quadcopter, which starts off great, but ends up rather bad. I can immediately feel the 3S power. And first, I want to say this is a really, really nice quadcopter and it flies absolutely fantastic. And with the 3S, I feel like I'm flying a much bigger quadcopter. It's got tons of power and lift and I am just overcome with excitement. But it comes to an end soon enough. All of a sudden, I lose control and it goes into a spin and hits the ground. So here is the quadcopter. It is all put back together from the crash, but it did have some minor bruises. First, uh, the canopy came right off from the crash. It has this soft um, plastic type of 3D printed material and the screws on the side that was holding it from the bottom uh, just got tossed out. So that was an easy fix with some uh, little bit bigger screws and uh, it is holding in place. And of course, uh, when it um, got knocked off, some of the wiring from the VTX to the flight controller board came undone and all it needed was to be soldered back on. So it is put back on there. 
But um, one of the motors, uh, the one in the left rear, uh, was really, really hot when I uh, went to retrieve it. So hot that I almost did not have any fingerprint left, you know? Yeah, that hot. So super, super hot. The others uh, were just a little warm to the touch. Uh, but this one here, man, it was super, super hot. So uh, I brought it home and uh, put everything back together and tested it out. But uh, this motor will not spin anymore, guys. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Welcome to open transmitter. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick a battery on it here. Check it out. Once I plug it in, uh, all three of these will initiate, uh, but this one will not. So go, let's check it out. Well, I don't know if you saw it initializing, but it did initialize. Let me try that again. There, all of them kind of moved a little bit, except this one here. Oops, I'm back. I forgot to try and spin the motors to demonstrate that motor does not spin with power input. So starting up the quadcopter. And let me go ahead and arm it. And give it some throttle. There you go, guys. So this one does not even spin. Yeah. So as you can see, this one doesn't even initialize. So I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's just the motor or it is the ESCs. And I'm hoping it is not the ESCs and it is just the motor. Uh, when I try to spin it, I'm going to unplug it now. When I try to spin each of the motors, this one here is the good one. And it spins. And I can hear the little clicking noise of the motor. This one as well. It spins really good. This one as well spins really good. But when it comes to this bad one, as you can't see here, it kind of sticks. So, and it doesn't have any of that clicking sound either. So there you go. It might just be the uh, motor and um, I can uh, just replace that motor and I can put this baby back in the air. So, but that brings up a question. What about some of the other two to three S capable micro quadcopters out there? Now I'm a little scared now to test them out with a three S battery. Some of them work fantastic with a two S, uh, and in my opinion, uh, some of them don't need a three S battery uh, when it works just fine with the two S. Uh, and as more and more brushless micros are becoming popular, there's still a lot of fine tuning that needs to be done. And it is still confusing as uh, some 2S batteries have 1S connectors. Let me show you an example. See, this is a 2S bat with a lossy connector, one of those micro lossy connectors. And usually these, you find it on the 1S battery. And now some of the 2S connectors come with the JST connector and some of the even one uh, s batteries come with a jst connector so it's very confusing it is not an industry standard when it comes to one s and two s but now uh, we are seeing some of the three s batteries now coming out with some xt30 so that brings up a very very uh good question so which battery should I use and which connector should I upgrade to? And can my motors handle it or can my ESCs handle it? Now this quadcopter is rated 2 to 3S. The input voltage is on paper 2 to 3S. So it is again very confusing. And this is the battery that I just got. And this one comes with the XT30 and the JST. And of course the balance plug to charge the quad, uh, charge up the battery. But you can easily charge it up using the JST on your hobby grade charger. It charges a lot faster than going through a USB charger for one of these guys here. So there you go. Be careful when upping the voltage on your brushless micros because like me, this can happen. So I'll take this motor off 
and uh, put it on this side to make sure it works or not. Uh, if it works, then it's fine, but I'm pretty sure it will not work. And I'm also going to take this motor off and put it on this side and solder it on to make sure the ESC is not the problem as well. All right. So until next time, that is my first ever experience with the ever popular 3S batteries, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And of course, we will see you again next time.